Hello, good afternoon, Michael Wynn, Chief Digital Officer of Digital Ops, a division of RB Oppenheim Associates. Thanks for tuning in today on the Digital Marketing Podcast and video series where we talk about digital marketing tactics to help grow your business. And today I want to talk about something that just came across my inbox that I wanted to jump on and share with you guys today because I think it has a huge impact, especially for small businesses. Uh, The two largest digital marketing platforms on the planet, Facebook and Google, both have announced relief support for advertisers for small businesses. Uh, Google has a little more information about their program compared to Facebook, but I wanted to at least start with announcing and making sure that this gets out to my network and listeners to the podcast and video series Uh, so that they can think about and and learn more about this opportunity to help your business. I mean, we're all going through a very difficult time right now. The stress of, you know, what will the future hold? Uh, You know, having to, you know, work remotely, not having your team together for morale, dealing with all the technical challenges of, you know, working remotely. And then, you know, trying to adapt your services for, you know, providing either virtual support or, you know, providing curbside service. You know, how do you maintain, uh, you know, business in a difficult time like this? So I think, uh, so first of all, Facebook is offering $100 million in advertising and grants and Google is offering $340 million in free ads. So let's jump right into some of the specifics that we know uh, when it comes to small business grants uh, and the grant program. And basically from Facebook's uh, business website portal, uh, basically what they've shared is that, you know, they understand that the disruption that's happening right now in America and the global outbreak of COVID-19 that you know, we're all trying to figure out, you know, how do we continue to thrive and, and grow? So their uh, cash grants and ad credits to help during this time, uh, basically they said they're going to offer $100 million in uh, credits for up to 30,000 eligible small businesses. Uh, and this is not just for businesses located in the United States. It's also for businesses uh, everywhere where Facebook operates. So, um, you know, they, the, the whole idea is, is you know, they, they hope that this program, this $100 million can help uh, with, you know, supplementing your workforce to keep them going, uh, help you to, um, you know, cover your rent costs for your business, help you connect with more customers, uh, or cover operational cost. Um, so when you uh, go on their website, you can find out what the next steps are. And basically right now they, they are creating a, an email sign up. So you click sign up for updates, you put in your email uh, and, and they're sort of you know growing this as they're developing this plan and this initiative right now as we speak. Um, so uh, you can, I'm going to put the link to uh, where you can go on facebook.com uh, to get this. So you can just click very easily and get there, um, you know, and that'll make it easy for you. So we'll have that posted on the blog post for this episode so you can find that. Um, if we jump over to what uh, Google says uh, they're going to offer, I think it's going to be interesting. I wouldn't be surprised if the program that Facebook offers might be similar. Um, Although, you know, obviously this is total speculation, but here's what we know about ad credits for Google ads and small business. Uh, And they also uh, are, are, the classification for their program is also medium sized businesses. So um, they're gonna be giving away uh, $340 million in ad credits, which can be used at any point during the uh, up until the end of 2020 across their entire Google ad platform. Uh, And this is really designed to help active advertisers 
who have run ads or who ran ads during the year or since the beginning beginning of 2019. So again, um, this is a little bit different. They've, they've said basically we want to reward those of you who have run active campaigns during 2019 and have an active account currently, uh, you're going to have the availability of, uh, of, of monies to, again, help, some, help support your small business. Um, you know, they're looking at this money going to small businesses, uh, health organization, governments, health workers, you know, those who are on the front line of this global pandemic. Um, so when you dive into the information, and again, we'll make sure this is linked uh, on our blog post so you can jump right to this program to learn more about it. Um, so basically, they uh, are stating, okay, what are you doing to help small businesses? Uh, they're setting up a fund that will support NGOs and financial institutions around the world with access to capital. Uh, access to capital. Uh, this is uh, in addition to the $15 million in cash grants, Google.org is already providing to nonprofits. Um, why is Google offering ad credits to small and medium businesses? Well, quite frankly, they state that they represent 90% of all businesses and more than half of employment worldwide, uh, according to the World Bank. So obviously COVID-19 has, has really posed a challenge for these types of businesses like yours and mine, uh, you know, who are, you know, maybe you're facing closing your businesses like many restaurants and nightclubs and entertainment type businesses. So their hope is that, you know, these financial supports can help protect their employees and through ad credits, uh, possibly alleviate some of their current costs and still stay in contact with their customers. Um, again, so who qualifies? Who's eligible? So again, Google already have, has spelled out their program and what it's about um, in that as long as you uh, are have been an active advertiser since at least January 1st, 2019 and comply with uh, Google's ads and uh, terms and conditions, then you would be eligible. Um, and, and so they're going to, and again, they also say that you'll, they, advertisers will be informed in the coming months through notifications within their Google ad accounts. So that's how you're going to get notified from Google is through your ad account. Um, now, they're going to talk about, uh, you know, again, these, the $340 million is going to be applicable for the search uh, platform, the display platform, as well as YouTube, uh, you know, pre-roll ads and things of that nature. So uh, the, these credits uh, are going to be across all of their platforms. Um, I think it'll be interesting, um, you know, so that's that's the majority of the information that, that they have uh, currently on the Google Ads help page. Again, if we go back to uh, Facebook's page, again, this is total speculation at this point, but I would not be surprised if, if Facebook follows somewhat of the same parameters that Google has done to say, if you are an active advertiser in 2019 and have a current active, you know, ad campaign, whether it's an ad manager or, you know, what have you. Now, again, they could really dial in the, the specifics on that. Um, you know, would it would extend to businesses who don't use ad manager, but who have boosted posts before in the past? Yeah, that's a possibility. Um, so I think that, again, what we're looking at here is here are two major, the, the two largest digital advertising native application platforms saying, we want to help small businesses. We want to make sure that you stay connected with your clients. We want to make sure that you have, you know, the capital and the resources to, you know, um, be able to pay your rent, um, you know, be able to help cover you know, cost, uh, you know, whether you've got people working at home and working limited hours. I mean, these two platforms are really looking out for the, you know, economic um, conditions in our, in our, you know, global economy. Um, 
Now, you know, I, and I do think that, you know, I mean, it's their prerogative. They can, um, you know, they can give the money to whoever they want, um, but it makes sense in a, in a loyalty program uh, in a way for these, these particular dollars to be earmarked and say, okay, for those of you who have advertised or who have an active campaign uh, or an active and open account in, in our platform, whether it's Google AdWords, and again, I'm completely speculating on Facebook because they don't have uh, the specific details of their program uh, as well defined as Google Ads um, have theirs outlined. But I think this is really good information. Um, you know, I know we will, we are looking into these opportunities for our clients that, you know, we've been working with over the last couple of years uh, on the Facebook ad platform, as well as Google AdWords to see if there are any opportunities for them to apply for uh, the, these grants, uh, for these advertising credits uh, and or free ads. Um, so I think it's important. I think also too, something to think about, um, it has been reported that many advertisers have pulled back money, uh, pulled back digital advertising money. Uh, and, and that's, you know, really across the board on, you know, Facebook advertising, Google AdWords advertising, even just, um, contextual display advertising. However, I do think that there are businesses who are not pulling back and actually businesses who are new to the platform. I know personally, I've seen some new brands come on uh, in my Facebook feed that I've never seen before or have rel you know, n really not seen a lot um, in the last year or so. And then boom, all of a sudden they're coming out. What's a concern for me is something that I've been talking about on the podcast show for a while, and that is that, you know, the engagement rates specifically on Facebook, I mean, our clients and, and many other advertisers who are leveraging the um, underpriced attention on Facebook ads right now are paying three to four cents per engagement on your Facebook ads, which is incredibly, incredibly affordable. And what that means is that for a business who's really cash strapped, you know, you can't afford to go out and spend five grand on a billboard or spend $10,000 on a TV commercial run that, you know, that's going to air, um, you know, once a day during the morning hours or during drive time for a radio spot or what have you, like, you're going to have to get really creative with your, with your marketing spend, period. So when you're able to leverage three or four cents per engagement and understand that, you know, the, the, the internet traffic and the amount of time that people are spending on social and on the internet now is skyrocketing, right? I mean, it is absolutely, I mean, by reports on average, 10 to 30% increase in internet and social traffic is just, a skyrocket. So, I mean, you see more and more people are being forced to, um, you know, get online. I mean, look at look at all the crazy memes and and things that people are talking about. You know, with uh, you know Tiger Man and and you know all the different funny scenarios with Zoom meetings. You know, and and just all the things that are happening right now as a result of the world has changed. We're in the middle of a thirty day shift in the way we just do things, right? I mean, literally tonight, you know, my girlfriend is gonna play uh, a game of um, Bunko using Zoom, right? I mean, they're all gonna get together and they're gonna have their own dice and they're gonna play their game and, and they're all gonna be on Zoom. And like, it's just what it is. Like, we are sheltering in place. We wanna flatten the curve. We don't want to, you know, spread this disease even further. We wanna reduce the amount of people who are impacted or who could, you know, you know, really reduce, you know, fatalities. Um, so the digital world right now is absolutely just in this incredible catalyst of fuel that has been dumped on the fact that, you know, many people are working from home. Many people are trying to figure out 
how can I earn additional revenue to, to support my, myself and my family? I mean, you know, I, I had a guest on the show the other day that, um, you know, they just recently bought a freelance platform with over 2,000 freelancers. Guys, we already knew that the gig economy powered over 30% of the workforce in America in 2019. They forecasted way before Corona that the, the impact of the gig economy, meaning people who leverage their skills, abilities, and assets, you know, whether it's talent to, you know, uh, record, paint, draw, type, text, articulate, you know, or, or drive your car or rent out a room. Like those types of gig economy uh, revenue streams were going to exceed 40% in 2020. Now we're talking about 32 million people being uh, displaced and maybe either permanently or temporarily uh, unemployed, guys, we are going to absolutely see a massive amount of gig economists uh, and, and, and those who are working in a gig economy because we're going to do what we're going to do, uh, you know, to pay the bills and keep the lights on and put food on the table. Um, and so how are brands going to do that? Brands and individuals you know, are going to need to leverage con producing content at scale on the internet with great volume and great frequency because that's how we're going to connect. It's absolutely how we're going to connect. We've been doing it for the last 10 years. And, and now because here's the one thing, guys, right? If you have this, if you have your mobile device, right? It doesn't matter your, so your social or economic background, the fact of the matter is you have access to the internet. And now more than ever, that's absolutely critical. I mean, I don't know how many people, you know, are are tuning in, but I, I would imagine it's a massive amount, you know, the press conferences that are being released at the state level and at the federal level every single day are being televised on, you know, YouTube or being televised on Facebook. So again, the two major platforms where all the attention is right now, those two companies have said, we're gonna get back to those who have been active advertisers on our platform since 2019. Now again, I'm totally speculating that Facebook is gonna follow some suit or, or follow that in some regards. Maybe they'll open it up. Maybe they'll do something different or have different criteria. But what we do know is that they're not going to just, you know, sit by and and see their platform, you know, uh, experience, uh, you know, shrinkage or or a, a, a reduced amount of people who are leveraging the platform. I think it's really critical that we understand as brands that that attention right now is so important and that you communicate to your customers, what you're doing in regards to being able to provide virtual services, uh, being able to provide, you know, curbside service, you know, being aware of, of any way that you can innovate during this time and, and producing it. And no, you're not going to get it right off the bat because it's going to be the first time that you've done it. So you need to be open to the feedback. You need to be open to you're going to get comments on there that are going to be less than favorable. That's okay. That's okay because you can take that feedback and you can adapt your policies, your procedures, and refine it. I think we're going to go through an incredible time right now in that, you know, it, uh, the, the science says it takes on average 14 to 21 days to establish a new habit. You know, we are absolutely right now, I know in the state of Florida and in New York and in California and many of the other states across the U.S., is is we are in a 30-day shelter in place only leave for essential goods and services that you need so we're, we're doing things that we've never done before right and we're dealing with a lot of stress right i mean you know for those remote workers that are working at home you're stressed out uh you know because you're trying to get your job done you, you know you don't have your your normal setup in your desk you don't have you know maybe you have a giant plotter printer thing at the office and you don't have that 
Um, you know, maybe you have a you know really large 25 inch monitor at, at your office. You don't have that. You're working from your laptop. I mean, you've got all these challenges, right? You've never used video conferencing, you know, so every time you get on a meeting, you know, it's just your forehead that anybody sees. You know, all the different things that we're, that we're dealing with. I mean, change and disruption in our lives, it, it's, we, we all underestimate it so, so much. So I guess if there's one thing that I want to end today's episode with, you know, a lot of times on Thursdays, you know, you do Thursday, throwback Thursday. What about for the next 30 days, we, we change that throwback Thursday to thank you Thursday, right? So today I'm going to say my thank you Thursday. Yep. It's going to go to Jesse Johnson, one of my coworkers. You know, she took a minute to say, Hey, Michael, you know, I, I'm not quite sure you you're, you're, you've been the same. Is everything okay? Is there anything I can do? And, you know, I know she's working as, as hard as she can to, to help her clients and, and do what she can. And her plate's just as full as mine. But, you know, that, that's the one thing that as, as we're going through this 30-day shift to, to really be aware of, of what's happening with our coworkers and with our friends and with our family. And when you sense that something's not right. When you sense that that maybe they, they're not they're they're just not being themselves, take a minute and say, "Hey, is there anything I can do?" I think another thing that we're going to see as a result of of this uh, pandemic is we're going to see a massive, um, you know, there's going to be an after effect of of mental health and and just you know how people are going to deal with the the things that have happened during this time. So again, uh, why don't we make this, why don't we make Thursdays Thank You Thursday, right? Hashtag Thank You Thursday. Um, I'm going to put a little comment in the video down below today uh, for others to just, you know, give a shout out to their coworkers or their friends and family to say a thank you um, because I think we need that. I think we need a lot more Thank You Thursdays. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Michael Wynn. I am the Chief Digital Officer of Digital Ops, a division of RB Oppenheim Associates. Thanks for tuning in. Please check back tomorrow as we're going to have a great episode uh, with a guest on the show. Again, have a great day.